Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 here today on the channel with episode 3 of my Emperor Edition campaign playing as the Roman Republic. Here today, we're going to try and manufacture a war against the Encerberus tribe in Cisalpine Gaul as they're incredibly weak at the moment. The rebellion that was in our lands uh, spread, the revolt spread all the way up to their capital and the rebels sacked it. So there's a prime opportunity to push into Mediolanium and try and take the city. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Also, their army is gone um, from their capital to Genoa as well. Uh, looking down in Sicily, now this is a huge development here as Syracuse is at war with Carthage and they've secured the entire island. The Spartans have now pushed into Larissa and the tide has swung back into the Athenian slash Spartan coalition against the Epirus and Macedonian. So only time will tell who will control Greece. My money's probably on the Spartans and the Athenians putting aside each other's enmity, but to unite against an Epirus and Macedonian front. Thankfully, I've backed the winning horse earlier on before the war even kicked off. Alright, trying to get some trade here. We might be able to get things done with Libya, who are a vassal state of the Maritime Kingdom of Carthage. And we've had a little bit of political dispute with them. They tore up the non-aggression pact that we had in our face. So, enmity still is between us and the peoples of Carthage. Uh, Lucius Julius Libo of the Julian clan has a daughter, so hopefully try and get her married off at some point. And I think it's time to send his wife on another diplomatic mission, potentially. We could send her to Syracuse, which I'm kind of tempted to do, but maybe we should send her again to Athens because we've been so successful. Actually, we could change things up and go to Sparta because we do have good relations with the Athenians. If Athens falls for whatever reason, or maybe Sparta tries to take the city, maybe getting some better quality relations with them. There's always a good idea, but you do have to watch out for potential ramifications of sending diplomats, but I would highly recommend it. Okay, let's make plans to push into Medellin and maybe try and go for Genoa as well. So let's move my spy. Let's see what the armies of the Encerberus Barbarian tribe have. So under their queen, the Heralds of Death have seized and taken Genoa from the Ligarians. So we're still trying to replenish and repair Patavium. Yeah, look at this. So the garrison is incredibly weak. Well, who are they at war with? Okay, that's a shame. They're only at war with the rebels. I was going to see if I can max uh, manufacture a Cassus Belly. So maybe let's roleplay and say we're following some of the last of the slaves into Encerberus territory to try and run them down. That's what we've managed to put to the Senate. And that's going to allow us to go on in. So this is our first battle here against Encerberus. Although that auto resolve is about 95% in my favor. Look, you know what? I think we'll fight this one. Because I think we'll have a good battle. I don't think we've actually... I'm trying to think. We haven't had a proper built-up wall settlement siege, have we? Any sieges we have... Thankfully, the AI has actually charged down against us. In some cases, not. As we've lost some casualties. But... The settlement of Medellin is actually quite large and quite strong, so we'll fight this one on the battlefield. Unfortunately, it's pouring down with rain. We can't see that well. Start deployment. Okay, yeah, because I quite like this settlement loadout. Look at this. So, big long line, and then they've got the town square uh, further back there. All right, so let's go for a multiple pronged attack. Looking at our army build, we have three units of Prinkipe. Most of the army is made up of Astarte, and then with Villates. And then one unit of mercenary hoplites that we've got at our disposal. Okay, well, we'll split up in some army groups. We'll go with a four-pronged attack with the ladders. And then we'll try and accompany Stati with them as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my Villate to a flammable ammunition to try and take out those arrow towers that are sitting here. There's three of them. If we can somehow get a little bit lucky and start a blaze on one of those towers and we can destroy them, we should be able to nullify one of the greatest defensive advantages 
this barbarian tribe has. And that's those arrow towers, which are absolutely ruthless. Particularly in Rome 2 and modern Total Wars, those things absolutely shred and decimate units. As the Hastati, slowly but surely, in a... It's either a dawn or a nice crisp morning. I guess the sun's going down, so it's um, an evening. Or is it going up? <laughs> I don't know, you can't tell. Either one. As the barbarians look to try and defend their homeland. Now, pretty interesting position, because we had this huge revolt which we caused. I'm surprised they left my occupied territory in the Venetian clan lands, and they actually besieged and sacked this settlement. The Italian slaves that were originally born and founded within our own lands. The Servile War has now well and truly spread to... Cess Alpine Gaul. But it might not be for too long. As we've mostly destroyed the rebellious dogs. Alright, so my Villates are starting to get some shots off. 20% fire damage. I'd like that percentile to tick up a little bit more for my liking. I continue to get your shots off. I think they're struggling with that back tower a little bit. They're struggling to throw it up and over the wall. Come on. Put your backs into it, lads. I'm sure you guys are all tra trained in javelin throwing and discus. <laughs> Alright, let's move on up. I used to love doing that at school. Throwing javelins. It's essentially like a pill test. <laughs> Alright, the Hastati are uh, working their way up on top into the Barbarian settlement. Then one more, one down to, to go. Thankfully the main army is down in... Genoa. Dealing with a full stack. In a settlement like this, when it's built, built up, it would have been a lot harder. Fortunately, for us, well, as fortune favours the bold, as we slowly but surely move on up. Because dealing with that full stack down off the coast will be far easier. And we've also got our navy swinging on in to help. Because, as I imagine, they're going to consolidate in. It's going to be a protracted siege anyway. We could deal with some additional coastal ballista support. So the Hastati have done well here. Dominating and claiming the Barbarian Wall. Fire damage has been complete on a lot of those towers. So we should be able to see the arrow towers crumble. Like some beautiful cookies, just like how the cookie crumbles. Alright, let's give out some attack orders, because we've been drawn around the settlement slightly. And it looks like they're coming out, potentially, a skirmisher unit. We want to try and get absolutely every abled body and Hastati unit inside the settlement. Look, if they're going to come out like that, that's pretty foolish. I might even need to send the general up. So, some skirmishes have come either to flee or get some pot shots against us. We're going to get a crazy sidle on volley there against the slingers. They've charged on in. Perfect. Right, let's continue to move on up. We've crushed that first unit that's made its way out of the gates into our open field. Hopefully we can follow up with the second. So although the auto resolve was incredibly in my favour, we are struggling a little bit. We're losing a lot more than what I anticipated, but at the end of the day, you do lose way more units as always. In an offensive siege rather than a defensive. But this has been kind of fun. It hasn't been some of your 
you're clear cut and blatantly dry. 95% in your favour. Auto resolves that you tend to do sometimes. Alright, let's move on up. Can't seem to see any units here. They're in the field. Maybe they're in the fog of war there. Within the town square. As the Encerberus tribe have capitulated on the walls. Let's move on in and try and help one out. Okay, so it does look like there's a unit in sight, and it looks like it's the general unit as well. Axe Warriors. Let's have a look at them. As they sit in their town square, looking to defend their holy places and sacred tree. The Axemen of the Encerberus tribe, with their cool-looking, vibrant and painted shields, are going to sit in defiance in front of the sun against the Roman war machine. Okay, looked like a decent volley, but thanks to their armor, oh, they're not going to lose as many as we did, but Hestati are flying on in now, and it's going to take courage and bravery for the Hestati to break on through these barbarian axemen. Look at that. Hacking and slashing, splintering shields. We might need to start a rotation and a surrounding attack to break that barbarian general unit. No, not no need. We actually broke them. Well, decisive victory. We'll take that. Only 500. Lost. Oh, only. I say that. But they only deployed... About 800. So not the best. Couple hundred kills with the Hastati. But now we've taken two pieces of territory in Cess Alpine Gaul. And hopefully we can claim that last one. But a really interesting push into Cess Alpine Gaul. I don't think I've used the Del Marte. And their war with the Venetii to march into there. I usually sometimes go to Genoa uh, when I push into Cess Alpine Gaul. Thankfully, we've actually taken uh, Medellin quite quickly because that's the territory which is annoying to take. It's the region capital in Cess Alpine Gaul, and the garrison inside at full strength is always an absolute pl pain, particularly when there's a full stack accompanying the garrison. It can nearly be nigh impossible. Or it can be very difficult if you make a minor misplay. But thankfully, um, due to the rebellion basically weakening up the garrison, even with a weakened garrison, we um, lost a fair bit there. Unfortunately, we just lost the spy, which is a little bit unlucky. And we do have some spare cash now to get a dignitary in, which I want to try and do if we can. So we'll bring one in at Rome. Now, deploying these guys every single term, you will get an increased tax bonus. That's what I want to go for. Um, I believe you can spread culture and a, a fair few other bonuses and benefits as well. So Legion 2, after taking the settlement, has gone up in stats with Libo. Gravitas and Zeal would be good, but then we want to adopt... We're going to have to go with Authority at some point. There's so many fantastic skill points, but so few points <laughs> to go down as we end the turn and continue. Oh, what? Oh, you got to be joking. Oh, that's just annoying more than anything. I guess it's the balance of power. Oh, that's a shame. I would have rather siege them out in Genoa. Oh, well, the Heralds of Death. Quite a fit and apt, apt, uh, <laughs> a fit and apt name. Getting tongue-tied. Well, we should be able to take out a fair few of them. Um... It would be outstanding if we were to win. One ballista, one catapult. Let's just try and take as many of them out as possible. We'll try and adopt the same strategy with uh, Brutus as we did last time. I think ballista are better overall. I think catapults take longer. So, they are transport ships at the end of the day. So, if we can get three... Sometimes four, depending on the transport ship. Clean cut hits on their hull. We should be able to sink them. But if look, if we can sink half 
of the in Cerberus enemy navy. That's going to be a massive ploy for us. So I've moved my general up just to dummy and flank. I think it's worth it. We will have to be careful because we could lose a Brutus, but I'm willing to accept the consequences of it. We're going to hit it there slightly, but I've been absolutely whiffing and scuffing my shots slightly. My accuracy could be improved. Maybe when they get a little bit closer, we might be able to turn up the heat. Alright, maybe just wait slightly. Allow the AI to take some shots. Conserve my ammunition close range. But here come the barbarians. There's a fair few of them. Alright, now we're in a bit of range. Will my accuracy improve? Let's start putting on the uh, the metal. Let's try and lay down some of this pipe if we're lucky. Alright, that's a bit better. I'll take that shot. So I would recommend it if you're doing naval battles. Maybe changing the angle. Maybe the angle is stuffing me up. Uh, pressing insert on your keyboard with ballista and taking the manual shot. In Empire and in... Um, Shogun 2. You can actually track arrows. Like, I don't know why they got rid of that in Attila. You can actually, like, follow the arrow volley. That was always fun in a previous game. Okay, so now they're getting in range. We really need to step up the, um... The heat and momento. Momentum. Our general is under attack. Our general's under attack. That's annoying, but we need to use him as bait. Just to delay and give... Uh, ballista more time because I'm stuffing up. Oh my god, I stuffed up again there. We might run out of ammunition more than anything. Because yeah, it's I want to try and hit the hull. Because it's not always about hitting the units on the top. Like that's a bit lower. That's good. That'll do. They're now swinging an interesting angle. That's better. Let's follow it up with a second. And maybe even a third. There we go. They're now sinking. Our men are wavering. That's alright. Because they seem to be going for him instead of these back units just yet. Alright. They've got an opportunity. Oh, we've run out of ammunition there. That's a bit better. Yeah, I think the reload speed of the ballista is better. I just thought I'd test things out because it's been a while since I've had a a ballista naval army. I went with mostly ballista, but I was curious to see how catapults would perform. Unfortunately, the general's been killed and our unit has perished. But now, it's serving as a focal point at the front of these two that we might be able to take more men out because of his sacrifice. We're actually really funneling them in, which is good, but we might just run, run out of ammunition with this ballista. Oh, you can zoom in. Oh, my God. Well, that was stupid of me. I didn't know that. It kind of throws off my aim slightly, but at close range, it nearly improves it. Well, um, we're out of ammunition for both. We will lose this as a close defeat. However, I'm going to say this is a victory because we destroyed... We'll look at the health percentile. The greens are one that survived. So we managed to take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units to our three lost. We managed to kill... Hmm... I guess half of their army. Far out, that's a fair bit. Arms keep peace. I suppose so. A well-funded well military is a safe military. As we get pushed back there. Well, yeah, unfortunately an honorable death has happened. 
We might even need to pay off the Brutii eye as well. To say, hey, we'll, we'll give uh, Brutus a... A state funeral. Decimus Junius Brutus, unfortunately. Oh, so now he's been put as um, Marcus Brutus, the family leader. That's annoying, because now we can't adopt him in. Which was a potential play, going for the second tier of Scipii and, and Brutii in. Yeah, we'll send the House of Junii and Brutus, the Brutii, a gift. Just to settle things down a bit, so they're not too angry. Okay, fellas, I think it's time to dive into some construction in Cisalpine Gaul. And then we've got to deal with the um, Genoa dilemma as well. So, um, in Mediolanium. I'm just used, so used to calling that province there Mediolanium. And same with, like, Aretium and Arinium, um, those two. So it's a little bit hard for my brain to reset it. <laughs> they change always in Total Wars. Like, you bounce from time periods to... Um, Attila and Rome and then the Rome remaster as well Like what even is that? I guess that's Milan like I don't fucking know I, maybe Turin. No, Turin. no, it's not quite that because Bologna is just to the south of it Um, oh alrighty, and it's, it's like Aretium like Florence <laughs> Technically anyway, let's advance to the border here. So we did manage to crush at least half of the Queen's army. Unfortunately, we couldn't destroy, target, and identify her boat to take out. I guess we'll just siege them. Because now that we know they're there, and what I'll do is I'll swing around with my ships. Although they lost and retreated, they never gave chase. So, we'll move you... Actually, if I go with a force... Like double time on the ship, we should be able to get in range. Because that would be huge if we could bring them into this fight. There we go. So, it's about 70% in our favour. Let's fight this one. And with this final settlement, with the Battle and Siege of Genoa, we'll be able to bring and incorporate, for the first time, Cess Alpine Gaul in to the Roman Republic. Ah, oh, I can't wait. Oh, it's a nice, beautiful, snowy map as well. It's like Christmas Eve in Genoa. Let's take this city. Okay, so we're gonna push up from a couple of angles, a couple of ways in, so let's go like you here, and we'll swing around you like here, perfect. And scoot you over on here. Now, we'll try and swarm on in from those four ways of attack. And then, I could split up the skirmishes, but because we're micromanaging essentially two battles here. We've got the naval engagement we have to deal with, and those four attacks in. I think what I want to do is just try and keep my micro to a minimum and keep my skirmishes together because sometimes they can get caught. So we'll try and bring everyone in. Um, we are at half health with those, so I don't know how we're going to go. I guess it doesn't really matter with the ships how many men crew it. It like, doesn't affect the reload speed, does it? But we're moving on here. Still using Hastati. We're starting to incorporate newly formed and trained Principes into our army builds. So hopefully we can remodernize our army and bring better quality units in eventually. I'd love to get some Triarii some Equites and more Principe. But we're going to hopefully crush and destroy the fiercely defiant Queen of the Encerberus tribe here. Okay, let's move on up here to try and destroy that. Um, I might have to protect my general here. I can't afford to lose another one. We already lost a Brutii. I guess it was, yeah, I guess it was the Brutus that, um destroyed the Etruscans as well. He's been taken out by barbarians now. But thankfully, now that we're playing as the House of Julii and we're playing against more barbarians, we're going to be able to get a buff and it's going to make things a lot easier due to our factional traits our of fighting and conquering barbarians and then trying to hold their lands. So let's give out some attack orders there. Just square up in the uh, the streets there. I'm struggling to hit this thing. I'm not too sure if I find it easier to zoom in and shoot or just like shoot off the fly. 
Because that's a bit better. I'm hard, uh, I'm finding it a bit hard to judge the white water there. Okay, so unfortunately the first initial shots with our ships aren't succeeding. And my navy is on an absolute... Let's say skeleton crew we're operating in. We're very, very weak with our navy. We're going to have to maybe send this navy back to Brundisium to construct better quality and more military ships. Oh my god, how am I flu- how am I fucking this up? <laughs> Whoa, oh my god. I know they- it's like there's a, um, essentially a randomizer when you shoot sometimes, like it sort of changes. It's not like if you if you aim, it doesn't go there the direct time. I'll just give out some attack orders here. They do change it up. Or otherwise it would be way too overpowered. It makes sense. We're not firing from a literal cannon. I think you can do that to some extent in Shogun too as well. Like fire freely like that. Alright, let's get a better quality shot here. Oh, it's gonna go wide. Now we're in range. I think the water is throwing me off a bit. There's a bit better. Now they're in range to hit us, we can finally hit them. There we go, that should be it. I'll do one more just to... to double tap it to make sure... Oh my god, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, how about over here? Oh, there we go, that's more of my range. There. We got a shot off there somehow. Okay, we're starting to get boarded there. Ah, oh, well. Unfortunately, I did worse than um, another time, so we're going to have to withdraw Brutus here, I'm afraid. And we can now focus on the main uh, army. Oh, some of their skirmishes are running back. That might be an ample opportunity for my general unit and the cavalry unit to swing around and help. Okay, so instead of making him fight in a naval engagement we know he's going to lose it is some sometimes better to withdraw lose face but be alive so Brutus will retreat with an acceptance from Lucius Julius he's fine try and do your best with the Navy but if shit hits the fan you can withdraw Brutus yes sir <laughs> Brutus fucking up again. Typical. Hey, Brutus. Now, unfortunately, we've been caught here. And this just shows you a really great example. If skirmishes hit you from the sides or rear, you can really get just caught. Unfortunately, I gave out an attack order there while I was focusing on my navy and trying to focus on everyone else moving on here. They actually got divided and conquered, quite literally. Alright, now that we're making our way into the town square, we want to try and initiate the countdown and give out some more attack orders. I will give Lucius Julius Libo to try and take out those skirmishes, but we'll see how we go. Already with that first charge, we've chipped him. Oh, now it's gone to yellow, so we're going to have to be careful with him. I still haven't grown his family tree to my liking, or haven't got it to a level of firm security just yet. Mm, although they're shaken, we're going to have to be careful, because if a couple volley comes in... The last thing I want is to lose him. He does have a daughter, but he still has mo no male heirs just yet. And the future Julian dynasty. We want to last and have it flourish. We want it to split off to the Claudian Julian dynasty as well. We want to make sure that it can get to that um, before it gets snuffed out. Yeah, because he lost half of his unit there. Well, we've softened him up slightly. Now that the Hastati are fighting 2 to 1 instead of 3 to 1 there, we're doing a lot better. Alright, so we've got our own Piltas getting their flammable shots on brilliantly. And except for those skirmishes on the outskirts there, we're about to capitulate every single unit within the city. And all that remains is the naval units. Which they could get a chance to disembark. We'll try and quickly wrap around and claim and kill as many of them as possible. We'll try and completely and utterly destroy and crush those units in the town square and in the city. But the Encerberus Queen is about to be no more. 
this wannabe Boudicca. <laughs> this upstart. Alright. Okay. So I guess the intelligence has reached the Inserverus Navy that the settlement has fallen. As the Roman banner comes flying on up. Yeah, we are struggling to take out these skirmishes here. We'll just try and run them down. Alright, let's form up. And... Yeah, go something like that. And then... Got a little bit of ammunition there, so let's go like this. And wait for them to come to us. I'm surprised we haven't won. Like, straight up won. Oh, here we go. They might capitulate before they can even... Disembark and make their way back. Oh, victory, we won it. Q. Roman banner flying high. And here are the brave defenders of the Republic. Julius Lucius Libo wins another W. Hell yeah. Alright, we lost just under a thousand, destroying 2,500 of the Queen, the Barbarian Queen's reinforcements. The Principes did well. Same with the Hestati, but the Hestati lost a lot less. Chevrons all around. Firm handshakes, fellas. <laughs> As with that note, I believe that should be all of Cess Alpine Gaul destroyed. There might be a navy here and there. We should be. For all intensive purposes, they're going to be destroyed. Genoa is about to fall. And we have officially signed, stamped, and sealed Cess Alpine Gaul as a... Firm, loyal, and strong province of the Roman Republic. Hell yeah. Let's go with a civic. Because um, we need the money more than anything. Um, do you know uh, Maybe go far? Oh, it's coastal, so maybe market to increase more future and naval trade. I think in some of the... Let's say central agricultural settlements will swing to a... Uh, a farm base, but that's fine. Alright, I'll give my navy to try and run and send them down. We'll send Legion 1 here with Cornelius Scipio. Um, that's hanging out in... Uh, just south of Neapolis into Neapolis. But, we've done incredibly well here, fellas. Good stuff. Okay. Well, um, I think we've got enough time here. Let's continue on. I was umming and ahhing whether or not to end it, but I think what I'll do is I'll move Cornelius Scipio up. We might be able to get a another battle here today if we're lucky, but we'll see how we go. Alright, uh, we're still at war with the Inserbers, so we have to deal with them. Um, no temple can stand upon just two pillars. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to get trade with the um, Illyrian factions here. Carthage still hate me. Hilarious. Uh, we've managed to, after taking, you know, I guess we can see Massalia and the Volca and Tolosa and whatnot. And some of the Barb the Iberian factions. We want to try and get trade with them, but we just need to increase our resource capability. We've managed to secure glassware from Batavian, which is huge. Oh, and we're about to bloody lose it. As the Venetii have spawned an army. Thankfully, it's not too large, but... We do tie up. Oh, they've probably got a better army than us. Like, how are we going to get rid of those two chosen swordsmen with one Prinkapay unit? All right, we'll manually play this one because we just have to. All right, that's annoying. Although we're not dealing with massive, huge revolts, we're still living with the consequences of those rebellions and political instability in and around Tuscana and uh, northern Italy and South Alpine Gaul. Hopefully now we can rule it with an iron fist and start incorporating it fully into the empire, getting the public order, getting the wealth back on track and on point. Okay, so how do we deal with this one? I was just looking at the the, the um, Testudo op, uh, um, availability because it's an attacking Testudo. I don't know if I really want that. So I think what we'll do is we'll essentially just try and funnel them in and... If we can get them to lock and engage on the Prinkapay unit, 
that is going to be more than capable to stand its own against another unit. It's just when there's more, um, it kind of multiplies. We'll try and swing on around. Unfortunately, we might lose Batavium here, which would be annoying. But we'll see how we go. We might be able to scrape a victory, but I don't know if I have overly confidence in this one. 30% eh, in our favor, maybe. Maybe I'm being... Uh, doubtful. As my name is Tom. Thomas. Doubting Thomas. <laughs> Comes to mind. Alright. That's uh, a personal um, spectacle jab, I guess. That just came to mind. Oh, why are you so doubting? That's oh, because your name's Thomas. Okay, right. Great. Thanks. I believe it was Thomas that didn't believe that Jesus came back, <laughs> or something. Off the top of my head, I think that was it. He was doubting for some aspect. Alright. Okay, so this is interesting, because they're not actually full-on sending, which I would prefer. Although they can't see, or maybe they've come back into view. They were in a bit of a fog of war, these units. So, what we want... Oh, they're actually defending, though. That is... I'd rather them all be charged and funneled on in. Going one at a time like this is actually favouring them as the Barbarians charge on through. Well, the Princope is there. Unfortunately, the Princope unit is the general unit, so we're going to have to risk a potential... ...general death from the garrison, which would complicate things. Decent charge. And we're about to get into place. Alright, let's swing around. Yeah. They're actually defending their rear from the left there, which is super interesting. I don't know if I'm going to get enough time to swing around here. Okay, now they're engaging. At least it's the general unit. We could get lucky and maybe take out their general, but we'll just have to see. They're actually tracking and phasing out our units quite well. Like, it, what I'll do is I'll get the, the lighter to hit that, because it'll get the rear charge bonus. But the spearmen are essentially going to get engaged there. Right. They're hitting them from the side as well. Keep them out. Okay. This is the plan. I don't think we're going to get much better than this. If we can pull it off, it'll be a goddamn fucking miracle. Okay, we're starting to pepper those tribesmen. There we go, perfectly, the rear hit. That's what I like to see. Oh wow, those spearmen just got crushed. We've only knocked out 40 of the nobles, we've knocked out hardly any there. So, they were going back and forth those last two, but now, they're full on sending everyone in. Hmm, yeah, we're about half health, we haven't killed the general. I would say, we're gonna take this Big, big L on the chin, I guess. Nah, that's annoying. That's alright. This is just like a crappy garrison anyway. The Venetian Barbarian tribe will have some small, short-lived sense of liberty, I guess, before we send the legions in to deal with them. On the grand scheme of things, the second... Venetian Republic coming up here will be firmly back under Roman rule. Well, at some point. I guess we go Helter Skelter and go full metal to the pedal. Losing a hundred. Oh, we nearly get. Come on, shaking. Like, well, okay, we just gotta like spam click it. 
because we're screwed now that they're wrapping and they're gonna get the buff. I'm surprised we didn't get the general there. We capitulated before them. That's a shame. Um, yeah, that's an interesting one. Let me know in the comments with that one. I don't think there's much better we could do with that. I think they just had superior units. That was probably a lost cause. Probably should have auto-resolved in hindsight. Yeah, those swordsmen, man. Because they had two of them. They got 300 kills between them. Maybe, potentially, moving my skirmishes closer. Could have been the play. Oh, mate. Maybe even sitting further back and not going for the flank. Not like we had arrow towers either. That's a tough one. Maybe we need to send that to someone. That disaster of a battle. Let's say to a, a legend of Total War or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we could have won that one. So unfortunately, we lost the glass where Ampatavium has fallen. Oh, but we've got a child here. What's the news? Oh, look at this. Naeus Julius Mesa. The firstborn son of the Julian dynasty. Oh, that is fantastic. Well, we get to leave this episode on, on a happy note. The future of the Julian line will continue. High fives all around, fellas. <laughs> nice. Cool. All right. Well, we'll swing everyone in to try and bring Batavium uh, back into our control. We'll get some Prinkapes as well to sweeten them. We'll, we'll try and blood those green boys on Batavium land. Alright, let's move my spines around. I might even send one in just to level him up slightly. Um, oh, the Encerberus have been destroyed officially. I don't know who by. I guess they wilted and rotted away. Let's say at sea. Okay, we'll send you back to Brundisium to get more ballistas because they've been so, so valuable for us. We might even get some negotiations here with Cassantia potentially. Helvetii, the Swiss Hatus, Massalia, and the Volke probably don't like us too much either. Um, we could look to send her on a mission as well to Spain. That might be an idea. Because getting trade with the Iberians might open up some valuable avenues. And we'll go with some other political intrigue as well, making him the heir. As we hold 57% of the Senate, which is huge. We're still far away from making it an empire um we're still firmly in the roman republic stage i might even have a look to when like where i'll try and map when the exact same the like i'll try and map not the time period but the territorial conquest games when we converted to an empire um to a republic like in real life we'll, we'll try and time it um by territory rather than date i think that'd be quite cool but anyway I've got to wrap things up here. Play for about an hour here today, so got to take a break. We've got to have a cup of tea and a biscuit, and then we go again for uh, another episode. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching once again. Um, I appreciate all the support. I've got to play the outro um, and say thank you to this one's patrons and channel members. But yeah, just take care, fellas. Pat yourselves on the back. Know that you're loved, and um, I'll see you in another upload because I'm keen to continue with this campaign. I'm having all the fun. Alright fellas, goodbye. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. I also want to say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tao, Lion B, Kyle P, Tom C and White P. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>